Listen up what we're gonna do now. Come. We will gonna cut the grinder here, this this piece. We're yeah. gonna cut this. We're gonna weld it here. Okay? This one? <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> this was the exploded differential. Okay, the owner he brought us a used one. I removed the solid boost that had this one. All right, how lovely! Now I have to remove these bushes, even if it was okay, you have to change it. We're gonna put the solid. So I'm gonna install the uh, solid one. First I'm gonna wash the housing, I'm gonna prepare it, and then I'm gonna install it. Now, uh, Mr. Nufo, yeah. this yeah. back in the box, mm -hmm. the other parts over there, because it has to be returned to the customer. I'm gonna give you also the sensors, because he's not using this, uh, the speed sensors here, the wheel sensors. Plus, let's see how it is a drain plug. It doesn't matter, because I'm gonna change the bearing sending an opinion. Just to have an idea. Mm, yeah, there are some pieces over there. Let's see how the gun looks like inside. <laughs> it spins fine. It feels fine. We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure it out. This is to impress the the bushes. Let's start. Expecting to be a little bit more hard, but it came out easily. One out. What's this? How lovely! <coughs> ah, come on now! God damn it! Okay. There you go. Okay, please, Mr. Nofo, yeah. the tools pack, wash clean a little bit, put the game back in the position. Let's make the diff down. Yeah. Thank you. Nice. Nice. Let's start opening it. Opening the cover. Looks good. Looking good. Just looks bad. You can see also in the carrier inside how it looks like, if it's okay. It smells like espresso. Don't ask me why. I was expecting to have a different uh, smell. Uh, Ford has different smell. American, uh, American differential has different smell. Mercedes has different and Japanese cars also has different smell. All these things will gonna disappear, obviously. These need to be washed. See if it has any scoring here and there. Some small measurements, just in case. See, that's okay. All right, all right. Move on, move on. I'm gonna show you now again when I'm gonna open everything. When I'm gonna be everything open. I'm gonna close this out of the end room. The, the, the booth is, I give it back. On the other box, same thing is going to happen also with the seals. I'm going to keep the seal, the one seal as a sample to bring the correct seals, bearings, uh, pinion, carrier. That's it, pretty much. Yeah, move on. Later on, you'll going to see the rest. Inside of the engine room, the differential washed, everything dry. These are all the old parts, nothing new here except the ring and the pinion. This ring and the pinion, this is 47 teeth, and this is 12, and this is 48 and 13. The only one thing that has, it's a gear at LSD, I have fixed, I don't know how many I have fixed, but like this, same, same type, similar, let us say, carrier, it's straightforward, it's not something crazy. Uh, I'm keeping an order on this, I'm not mixing it up, because it's a used one. And there was running now here at this position, so I don't want to change the position for where it's running. Uh, I'm spending a little bit more time with a specific one. That's fine. It's okay. Uh, then, 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 
what I was willing to say. Yeah. Like I said, everything is nice and clean and dry. A little bit of WD-40. Just don't come rust because it's cast iron, obviously. Same thing from back. Okay. Outside, I didn't spend so much time outside, to be honest with you. It is been washed. It's been washed outside. If it was, if I was willing to put it, let us say, on a car that it's gonna stay, let us say, for 10 years and gonna be fine or 20 years, then yes, I'm gonna paint it. But on the specific application, one pull and you can explode it. It's it's not, let us say, that this diff, it's not for that application. It's not the right diff for this application where it's gonna be installed. Okay? So, I don't see anywhere, one thing that I like to see inside of a diff, I would like to see smooth corners. I don't want to see sharp corners, I don't want to see, let us say, any, um, call it as a, not crack, the beginning of a crack, especially on the casting. I'm gonna show you later on, not now. It's nice to be everything nice and smooth inside of the diff, in general, with the gears. Should we see now the gears, the bearings? The bearings, yeah, we'll, I'll gonna replace all these bearings. Okay, uh, left and right on the carrier, it's the same number. It's a Koyo PTA 4785. PTA 4785, yeah, Koyo Japan, nice, not bad. And this one is NSK. All right, this one there is a washer for that. Uh, there is a washer that goes here. It's important to put this washer. <laughs> it's important to come here. And when when it has a lip like this, this is to go full down because it has a radius here, a small one, not something big one, and it comes like that. It, it is important. I would gonna like to have a little bit more tight fit, to be honest with you, to don't have this movement. That's okay. That's me. That's me. Yep. Uh, the crash washer, usually you put a new one, and, uh, it goes like that. Classic. That's the drain plug with a magnet. This is the from where you're filling it up. Okay. Uh, this, they have different thickness. Adjust the left and right. And this one is to adjust the in and out. Nothing new. Classic, classic. Uh, one second, one second, just a second. So in one case we have, no, this was, yes, this was the original one, the one that's wearing on the car. We have 48 divide, how much I said, 13. This give us 3.7 to one ratio. Okay, and this one is 47 divide 12. This is 3.91, 3.9. 3.7 to 3.9 not something crazy uh, it depends also the uh, what what gears you have in the transmission the, the ratio of the gears of its gear what I was willing to show you now first let's say that I don't have the uh, I don't have the new bearings I don't have the seals the seals I keep it out I didn't wash it I need seals and bearings important thing and uh, that's not a big deal um, when I'm gonna close I'm gonna put an oil on this now pay attention on the ring and the pinion the old one all right what you see on the edge here this is this is the story of my life you know I have never received ring and pinion to be ready for installation never never always I'm receiving it like not like this i'm gonna show you this is okay this is beautiful this is ready for installation okay you see the the edges here all right you see here up how it is that's beautiful let's see the new one let's put side by side one second no from up it's fine from up whoops from up it's fine one second one second I don't like this, <laughs> these things, that's not the ideal, you see from this side, 
One thing is this one that I don't like. By the way, I haven't washed it, that's why it's like that. I am gonna wash it. Then, on the ring. What's the ring here? How nice it is. You see, you see that somebody take care about here the edge of the ring. If you compare it with this one, this for example, has one piece here. And has this one here. Then there is another one. I don't know if you can see on the camera what I'm talking about. Okay. And from inside, there are some imperfections. Here you see there is a heat here, here, and here. I don't know from where that this is from a transportation. This is how I receive it, by the way. It was inside of this box and it was wrapped. So, much better quality. Here, you need to make the finishing if you like. Now, if I have to guess which teeth will gonna break first, it will gonna be, let me see, this has a hit, this has a hit, this, 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 this and this. So, this one that has mark from this side and from that side, this is the first uh, suspect, let us say, that it might crack because it's a cast and you see the beginning that's why I'm saying that if it's nice and smooth and polished you have much more chances <clears throat> in any case I, I will gonna take care about these stupid things and some other around to be nice and smooth this this how how much time I'm gonna spend it gonna be for this one all the rest it's nothing in half hour I can close it the, that's the big problem the most of these diffs, like the Mercedes, like the Nissan Infinity or whatever, the most of them, you don't have to adjust backlash, you don't have to adjust anything. Most of them are plug and play. You just confirm that it's okay. You put some color, you see that it has good gain spent. You see that it's not too much out, too much in, and that's it, and everybody happy. 99.9%. Uh, because it never happened to me to have this type of diff and to need to adjust the backlash. It's already, you can call it pre-adjusted? Yeah, call it as you like. The, by the way, the gear at LSD, by the way, this washer, sorry, this washer, this, it's, it's for this side actually, it's running here, okay, this washer is running here, this is for inside here, and this for inside here for this one. I, I don't want to mix it up. Like I said, I want to run on the same position. This one, what's happening is that it's pushing. It's pushing to each other, and that's not the best from the from the point of strength. It's not with the uh, with the clutches, let us say, or even with the clutches. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the clutch it's much more strong for it's not uh, i don't see anywhere here on these gears it's not missing anything i don't see any crack or something or something missing it looks okay it's dry you see that's dry yep if it's too much tight you're gonna explode the diff. If it's too much loose, you will gonna explode the diff. <laughs> In both cases, you're gonna overheat the oil. Uh, but again, even if it was the ideal, it will not gonna survive on this application. That's it for now. When I'm gonna receive uh, bearing seals, uh, when I'm gonna finish now the ring and the pinion a little bit on the edges to be nice, I'm gonna make another video. Yeah. Then the old parts back to the owner, old bearing seals and this kind of stuff. Okay, this 205, this 2.2, I think, something like that. I measured before when I open it. Bolts, it's okay, it's okay. 
yeah here somebody hit it i don't know who i didn't hit it because i i remove it i didn't put it in now i make this mark so i didn't make this mark sorry either this okay okay a little bit clean no step here good 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 this there is a little bit there inside it's okay i can even remove it i can make like that it doesn't matter it does not matter so much details like i said one pull and you can explode it <laughs> i hope to last that's it thank you